here in my home in Anvil, Pennsylvania, and I have something I'd like to show with you, to share with you. I actually have a pipe organ in my house. How many of you have ever seen a pipe organ? Probably in your church, but have you ever seen one in a house? Can you see this is my music room? I have a piano, but also uh, this organ. Well, what is the difference between an organ and a piano, you're probably asking? Well, you probably saw, or you saw, probably already saw that there are pipes that's different between the piano and the organ. Well, let me show you a little bit how the, the pipe organ works. If I kind of close this for a moment. And along the sides here, can you see down here? This is actually a box. And in that box, there's air. So let's do a little experiment to show how this might work. If I took this and took a pipe out of my organ to do my experiment, I'm going to put it in here. And this is my reservoir of air in here. And I have put a little hole right here. And I'm going to take this hair dryer. Did you hear something different than just the hair dryer? I bet you heard there's a pipe sounding. <clears throat> and this pipe, what do you notice right here? It's kind of like a little opening, right? This is called the mouth of the pipe. And at the bottom here is a little hole and you could hear that the air was coming through here. And when I play in that little box, there's air and the air comes up and comes through the pipe. So, the length of the pipe makes a different sound. So you can hear a difference here. Listen. That's because the length of the pipe makes high or low sounds based on the length. So let's do a little experiment. I got some helper friends here. So this friend, uh, he's gonna play a middle C. Can you see the piano here or the organ? Now I'm gonna take everything off and only this row of pipes right here with the blue is playing the blue stripes. That's created the same sound. Come on over to the piano. And my friend will play that same note over here at the piano. Was it different or same? Well, it had the same pitch, uh, but it was kind of a different quality of sound because that is a percussive instrument and the organ is a wind instrument because there's wind blowing. Well, if I played this note, but chose a different pipe, see the four? Tell me if it's higher or lower. the same sound? Nope, oh, you're right. It was higher. Very good job. Higher. One octave higher, actually. What happens when I pull the two? Okay. That was the four. That's the two. So we hear eight, four, and two. Now, each of those pipes have a different sound, and I'm gonna, we're gonna go up here. Come on up. And we're gonna see the pipes from inside, really nice and close. And you're gonna see the blue ones, they're creating this sound. The ones in the very back, they're creating this sound. And then up here in the front, look how small these little pipes are. That's because they're creating a high sound. Okay, so that's the different sounds of the pipe. So let's say, what's the other differences you see? How many keyboards can you count on this one, Simba? Two, very good, there's two keyboards where the piano only had one. Well, on the organ you get to play with more than one sound, but sometimes you get to play with more than one manual. We call that a manual. <laughs> and 
that each manual has its own sound. And some organs, they have lots of keyboards. Since this is a small little house organ, it only has two. But in some places, you can have five or six or seven keyboards. Someday, I'll uh, show you a, a big organ at my college. But today, we'll just have to show you this organ. Okay, so you have the two keyboards that can different sounds, but there's also a special row down there. Woo, how am I gonna play those? Can't do it with my hands. Guess I'll do it with my feet, right? Well, got a little trick to show you. You see here, organists, we play with special shoes. These are organ shoes. And has a heel, and has a special type of uh, sole. What is that? Metal, no, it's not metal, it's leather. It's a leather sole. So these special shoes you put on just like any other shoe, but they're fancy and they allow me to play the pedals. So with my feet, I have to be able to play the same notes. Here's a C, D, C, E, C, F, C, G, C, A, C, B, C, B. So I get to play like that. So I can't look at my feet, so I have to be able to play. So what organists do is we do something kind of fancy with our feet. And you can see what we do when we play is we keep our heels and our knees together. So that's like C to D. Why don't you practice with me? Stand up, put your feet together and your heels together, knees together, and pretend like you're playing C and then D. Now spread them just a little bit. Now you have C, E. A little bit further, C, F. And then almost as far as you can reach, C, G. Okay, let's try it fast. Ready? C, D, C, E, C, F, C, G, C, F, E, C, E, D, D, C. Oh, I messed it up. Let's try again. C, D, C, E, C, F, C, G, C, F, E, C, E, C, D, C. Woo! Did you get it? <laughs> a little tricky, right? So the organist has to be able to play their feet with their hands at the same time. So now, what I'm going to do is to put, my friend will choose the right sound. So let's make that sound we had, the eight foot. He's going to add the four and the two foot. And now all three rings together. cipher and that note is playing after it stops and so we have to get rid of the cipher <laughs> so there are fancier ways to get rid of them but that's one way and so sometimes when the the temperature gets um warmer or colder or like today it's very rainy right and so the little bit of the leather in there swells and shuts and when we get back to uh, the organ at the college i'll be able to show you the inside of the organ a little better but like i said here we are in my house and in the future let's go to the uh, college of lebanon valley and uh, we will see a bigger organ and see inside it too well thanks for coming by and meeting my friends and my dog Huey here at my house. Hope to see you soon.